Other legacy, quote unquote, legacy tech names. Cisco upgraded today. JP Morgan. Jimmy, you used to own IBM, right? Um, until you couldn't take it anymore. <laughs> well, we have different objectives, right? I couldn't take it anymore. You do own Cisco and you do own Qualcomm, which was added to JP Morgan's analyst focus, yeah. uh, focus list today. The price target raised to 159 from 145. That's on QCOM, the bottom there. Yeah, uh, different, different companies, of course, but you're right to call them legacy tech. I would also call them value tech, which is just to say that they have very forgiving valuations, in part because of a lot of doubts over the last year or so about their businesses. Qualcomm, its smartphone sales that have underwhelmed for the last year, year and a half. Um, that is likely to come out of its trough. It's, it's overdue to come out of its trough. The analyst talks about China perhaps picking up smartphone sales, but globally there's reason to think that you can only go so long without upgrading your phone and that the cycle's about to turn up. Even if it doesn't, they've got a very good automotive business, a good uh, internet of technology business, and the valuation, again, very forgiving, both from an earnings basis, a peg ratio basis, good dividend yield. Uh, so this is very similar to your IBM in that regard. I, I think this is just a very easy to stock to own at this point. Joe T, you got Cisco in the Joe T. Yeah, and that has the, uh, of the legacy, the value tech, I think that has the highest probability of building momentum and moving forward fundamentally orders increased in the, in the prior quarter, but it's, it seems to be all kind of tracking the opportunity that occurred from Oracle. Think about Oracle and what we used to talk about Oracle as, which was more a legacy tech, a value tech, and now we've seen a significant rise in Oracle. So can it follow that trajectory? Cisco, to me, has the highest probability of doing that. What's interesting is when we talk about IBM and think about Warren Buffett stepping away from it, where did he step towards? He stepped towards HPQ. They have 12% ownership, which is the largest ownership in that stock, and that stock's been moving higher. Belsky? You, got, you own Cisco, right? I own Cisco in three portfolios. I'm going to trademark. And trade Qualcomm? Market, and Qualcomm in three portfolios. I'm going to trademark a phrase. They're Jenny Tech. That's what they are. <laughs> they're Jenny <laughs> Tech. I like it. I like it. Cisco, Cisco is a, a dividend growth monster. You know, cash flow yields above the dividend yield, positive earnings growth. Who would have ever thought 20 years ago we'd right. be talking about John Chambers and go, go, go Cisco. <laughs> now all of a sudden it's a cash flow and dividend right. machine. It's just a flat out anti-recession play. It yeah. really is that simple. Cisco? It is. Cisco, it's enterprise spending. Everybody sold this stock in the last year because enterprise spending is going to go down in a recession. Guess what? If you don't have a recession, what happens to enterprise spending?